sinking of spleen chi. Spleen chi sinking is almost the same as spleen chi deficiency. The difference between the two patterns is that when there is spleen chi sinking, there are specific symptoms that relate to spleen chi failing to carry out its function of lifting and holding organs and structures in the body in place. This can manifest in anything from a mild dragging sensation in the body to a prolapse of organs or structures, for example, hernias and rectal prolapse. Spleen chi is also needed to hold the fetus in the uterus during pregnancy. Spleen chi sinking can therefore also manifest with spontaneous miscarriages. This is due to spleen chi deficiency failing to raise the chi upward, leading to chi sinking. It is also called middle jaw chi sinking pattern. Key symptoms, bearing down sensation in the abdomen and prolapse of internal organs with symptoms of spleen chi deficiency. Clinical manifestations, this include a bearing down sensation in the abdomen, distension in the epigastrium and abdomen, especially after meals, frequent and urgent defecation and chronic diarrhea, a bearing down sensation of the anus, prolapse of the rectum or uterus and turbid urine. These symptoms usually are accompanied by a shortness of breath, lack of strength, lassitude and laziness in speaking, dizziness, lusterless, whitish complexion, poor appetite, loose stool, a pale tongue with a white coating and a moderate and weak pulse. This pattern is mainly caused by further development of spleen chi deficiency, by chronic diarrhea or chronic dysentery, overstrained fatigue damage, or by excessive childbearing and improper nursing care after childbirth, all of which consume the spleen chi. Apart from the relevance of the same etiological factors that can result in spleen chi deficiency, factors such as repetitive lifting of heavy objects will weaken kidney yang, which supports the spleen in its function of lifting and holding things in place in the body. Spleen chi sinking is also called center chi fall. Etiology includes excessive consumption of cold and raw foods, which hinder the spleen, irregular eating and eating too much, excessive mental activity, standing for long hours every day, childbirth, menopause, prolonged exposure to damp, chronic illness. Underlying or accompanying pathology, spleen chi deficiency, stomach chi deficiency, lung chi deficiency. Signs and symptoms, poor appetite, slight abdominal distension, following food, pale complexion, tiredness, weakness of the limbs, loose stools, depression, tendency to gain weight, bearing down sensation in the abdomen, prolapse of stomach, uterus, anus or bladder, frequent and urgent urination in infants, depressed fontanel. Pulse is empty or weak. Tongue is pale. Treatment principle, supplement the center and boost the chi, raise the yang and rectify the fall. Acupuncture treatment, REN12 to supplement spleen chi, spleen 3, the yuan source point of the spleen, bladder 20 to supplement the spleen chi, chronic cases. Do 20 to raise the chi, stomach 21 to supplement the stomach, rectify prolapse of the stomach, do one for prolapse of the anus, stomach 36 to supplement spleen chi, spleen 6 to supplement spleen chi, bladder 21 to supplement stomach and spleen chi, ren 6 to supplement and raise chi. Needle with supplementation and moxa. As well as following the advice that is recommended when there is spleen chi deficiency, it is important that the patient avoids heavy lifting. <laughs>